This program has been brought to you by Alpine Bank. Dedication you can count on and experience you can trust. Alpine Bank, member FDIC. H.G. Wells popularized the concept of time travel in his 1895 science fiction novel, The Time Machine. But scientists have never been able to produce an actual time machine that would allow you to experience the past as those who lived it. That is until now. A University of Colorado anthropologist and his team of students spent a week in the Chimney Rock National Monument area earlier this month, creating a three-dimensional map of the site using light detection and ranging, a laser-based remote sensing technology that's so sensitive it can detect minor variations in the topography that are invisible to the naked eye. The mapping expedition is part of Project MAP, a multi-year program led by Colorado Associate Professor of Anthropology Gerardo Gutierrez and his Boulder colleague Steve Lexen to create detailed three-dimensional maps of Colorado's historical monuments. Chimney Rock National Monument was occupied by the Pueblo peoples between 900 and 1125 A.D. At 7,600 feet elevation, it's one of the highest ancestral Puebloan sites in the southwest and has also been identified as the northernmost settlement of the Chacoan Empire, a vast network of Pueblo communities ruled by an elite political and religious group centered at the Chaco Canyon in northern New Mexico. Chaco and Chimney Rock National Monument have been research centers for the University of Colorado Anthropology Department for decades. Gutierrez said Project MAP has two goals. One is to record the landscape as it exists now to help the San Juan National Forest with future management and preservation decisions. And the other is to create a virtual rendition of the site as it existed when the Pueblo people lived there. We transform the space into place. And a place is a space with meaning. And unfortunately, we don't have the people who created this uh, 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 site living with us. But what we can see is the density or, or the variation in density of human activity through the site. There are parts of the site that have more human activities crystallized in these places. And that indicates that those, indicates that those places have more relevance and have more meaning for them. And uh, that's the moment in which we can come with better interpretations. Gutierrez and his students set up a series of light detecting sensors along the ridge adjacent to the Great Kiva at Chimney Rock. They then activated an instrument that rotated 360 degrees while emitting more than 100,000 pulses of the laser light a second. Gutierrez will transfer the data to a computer program to recreate a three-dimensional model of the landscape, the pit houses and kivas as they existed when they were occupied. Gutierrez then plans to place the digital model into a video game platform that will allow the user to walk through the area as the Pueblo did, as if they were in a virtual time machine. The next step is, okay, so if we have virtual reality, then nothing prevents us to do now synthetic reality. And by synthetic reality, I mean that we are going to put the goggles. And our brain is going to be fooled by the images that the goggles are going to be uh, transmitted directly to our eyes. And we can basically do movements to recreate, instead of having a joystick, our own body is going to be doing movements to walk through this landscape. Gutierrez says that experiencing a site as the original occupants experienced it can give us a better sense of the Pueblo people's physical and emotional relationship with their environment and a better understanding of life as it was a thousand years ago. If you'd like to know more about Project MAP, visit colorado.edu slash news slash features and search for remote sensing technology.